I'm travelling around Britain with my rather cute caravan, discovering foods and traditions that are being passionately preserved. Today, I'm in Yorkshire. I don't believe it. I'm going through the actual village of Follyfoot. Do you remember that programme? When I was at school, this programme called Follyfoot on the telly had a girl in it, who we all rather adored. Um, and she used to look after some horses on a farm. Down in the meadows where the wind blows free, the light goes up by the lightning tree. Things la di da if you want them to, if you want them to, then it's up to you. Blow, blow, lightning tree, never give up too easily. There's a cracking tune. I do love a good sing song. Next, I'm heading off to Sheffield to learn about a tradition that's still very much cutting edge. When I say Sheffield, you say steel. Quite right. And Sheffield is where stainless steel was invented, which was very good news for the cutlery industry. Even one of the local football teams is called the Blades, so we're better to pick up a new set of knives. Sheffield's land, rich in iron ore, meant there was plenty of available material for making steel. And the region's rivers powered water wheels that drove machinery in hundreds of workshops. Opened in 1877 by local lad Robert Mosley, the Portland Works was the city's first purpose-built cutlery factory. Early cutlery was made out of steel, which easily rusted unless it was covered in silver, which made it very expensive. This all changed in 1913 when Harry Brearley mixed steel with chromium and carbon to produce the world's first stainless steel. Eureka! Steel that didn't rust, and Sheffield had a boom industry on their hands. Today, our knives and forks are mass-produced by high-tech machines, and the Portland Works are one of the few places in Britain where cutlery is still handmade. Craftsman Stuart Mitchell is proud to keep this local tradition alive. So, Stuart, here we are at the Portland Works. This is a phenomenal-looking place, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, quite. Um, it looks like a film set. How long have you been a cutler? Uh, what do you, do you call yourself a cutler? I, I trained as a cutler. I did an apprenticeship yeah. with my father. Um, yeah. Apprenticeship I, with your father? Yeah, that sounds a bit dodgy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I think today I might be more of a knife maker than a cutler. Right. I'm sort of quite an oddball in the trade, if you like, because I do all the processes. Right. You know, from sort of cutting and, and the, the blank and grinding, finishing. So I, I think I might be more of a knife maker today than a cutler. Before Portland, a Finnish knife would have to travel the length and breadth of the city to be forged, ground and finished. Here, these skills were brought together in one place for the very first time. It's still the same today, with expert craftsmen working side by side. This is a fantastic workshop, isn't it? This nice, is a, yeah. A boy's dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stainless steel was invented in this very world. Stainless wasn't steel it? invented in Sheffield, yeah. yeah. Very Be first. Before stainless steel, it was it, all, all your knives would rust, wouldn't exactly they? Exactly right, yeah. And the, yeah. The, therefore, you had to cover them in silver yeah. to preserve them all. That's exactly right. Or yeah. keep taking the rust yeah. off. But this set of knives there actually predates the name stainless steel. Oh, yeah. These, these are called, called Rust No Stain. Rust No Stain. Which stainless steel was called previous to stainless yeah. steel. Rustless steel. Yeah. You don't make these, do you? No, you, no, you, no. you make. You make these. Yeah, what I sort of specialise in. That's a cracking kitchen knife. Today, that is, isn't it's it? what you might call custom knives. That's so sharp, isn't it? I'm going to make my very own knife, and the first stage is shaping the metal. So it's off to meet Andy the forger. What's the art of forging? Uh, a strong right arm. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Forging is one of the oldest metalworking processes, going all the way back to the 12th century. It was the job of a smith, who shaped metal using a hammer and an anvil. That's a steel block to you and me. How long have you been in here? I've been here since I was 14. Since you are 14? 14, yeah. I started when I was 14. Oh, you left school early? Well, school holidays, all that. And I've been, yeah. here, been here ever since. Right, time to knock my very own knife into shape. I see, yeah, it's better when you push it that way. I'm not going to earn much on piecework, am I? 
We'll just That's warm horribly mangled, that is. We'll, we'll warm it up again, make All it right. easier for you. <laughs> Steel's always forged when the metal's hot. The heat makes the metal softer and easier to strike with a hammer. Oh, it's on there, aren't we? Nearly got your finger then. <laughs> Once the metal cools and hardens, shaping is much more difficult. And that's where we get the saying, strike whilst the iron's hot. Well, that's not too bad, that. All right. That, that would pass, that. <laughs> A quick dip to cool it down. Marvellous. Not too bad, really, for the first ascent. <laughs> Bearing in mind, I've been doing it for 36 years. Yeah. There's a lot of skill in doing that, isn't there? Cheers. Hi. Nice to meet you. Cheers, Andy. Thank you. Bye. My knife's the right shape, but it's a bit rough around the edges and not very sharp. So next, grinding. So it's quite firm, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's not. You've got to be left to press on, you know, let the, let the stone do the work there. Grinding will take out all the minor lumps and bumps. I managed to grind a bit of my glove as well then, <laughs> leaving my knife with a nice, flat, smooth surface. Well, that's the idea anyway. The blacks you see there are sort of a, a, well, basically a mistake from the forging process because she's not perfectly flat ah. in the grinding process, then you need to sort of grind those out. You're saying the forger well, wasn't good enough? Yeah, who did you want to this? <laughs> Honestly, you just can't <laughs> find a proper forger these days. Oh, give up, Edmondson. Now a man that grinding's going to make this knife flat. Now it's time to put my name on it. Next stop, Mick the Engraver. So Mick, hi. Uh, you've got my knife on this uh, machine here. How, 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 what's the skill of engraving? Uh, basically, it's a case of getting everything flat, level, and you've got a nice cutter with yeah. a good edge on it. But it's got to be very, very level. Yeah, my, my, the, apparently the forging process on this knife was... <laughs> we, just, we just couldn't find a proper forger. Um, but it's, it's not quite flat enough, is it? No, really, no. So we're going to have problems with it. Uh, well, yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pull that down. This amazing looking machine is called a pantograph. As I move this point up and down, a clever alignment of moving arms mimics the movement on the other side, but smaller. The times like this, you shoot surname wasn't so long. Nowadays, this machine has been replaced with fancy lasers, but hundreds of years ago, the pantograph was the only way, and for Mick, the traditional ways are still the best. I think we're done there, aren't we? Yeah, you're done there, mate. Just, just, that's it. And all we do, take that off, make it stop. There you are, my friend. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, it's a bit, a bit of a oh, flash on it. Yeah. Should we go and put a handle on it? With the handle on, it's back to the grinder for a final polish. The jobs are good. Piece of artwork, that. All you have to do now, of course, is pay for it. I do, yeah. Because we know it's, it's bad luck to give a knife. You must never, ever take a knife from someone without giving them at least a token of money. Because yeah. otherwise it'll cut you. Thank now, you. Isn't that... Severs the friendship. Yeah? I believe, yeah. All right. Well, it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you for showing me around. Thank you very much for coming. Thank Brilliant. you. It's been a pleasure. Keep on doing it. Thank you very much. Look at that. What do knives make us say? <laughs> say ouch, ouch generally. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, yeah. All right, say ouch. Yeah, ouch. <laughs> I really love the Portland Works. Fantastic building. I mean, with a fantastic heritage, but still working, still working properly. Still got people in there doing the trades that it was built for, which is terrific, isn't it?